Oh my god! Oh, I thought she had a manicure. I got really excited. Or a pedicure. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for dropping by my channel. I'm Suresh. Today I have another super exciting video. Now, I received a surprise box from Barbie Collection, aka Barbie Collector, and um, I believe it's from my darling boyfriend who may have sort of spoiled the surprise when he kept telling me not to get the Wonder Woman doll. So I was just kind of like, uh, okay, why? It just arrived and I'm really, really excited to open it. So I thought we could open it together and uh, I loved the Superman doll so much. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to love her as well. Okay. Ooh, there she is. Oh, wow. She's pretty, you guys. I've seen a few reviews um, online of her that some other um, collectors have done, and they always say the same thing, which is that she looks so much better in person. But, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Oh, she looks so cool. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. The presentation of these dolls, I think, is so pretty. The boxes are just gorgeous. So there she is in the front. And uh, I will show you um, what she looks like when I take her out of the box, which I very begrudgingly do. It has the movie title on the side. And there she is on the side, um, like Superman was on his box. And the back of that is the story of the movie, which by the way, I think opens in like a couple of days. <gasps> I'm so excited. Her face is supposed to be uh, in the likeness of Gal Gadot. So that's the new face that they did. And then the body type is the posable hero female, because I believe Superman and Batman are the posable hero male. So. Um, oh wow, love this so much. She does come with her certificate of authenticity, which I love. I have literally like a stack of these, like this thick, no, I'm kidding. I shop way too much. Here she is, wow, very pretty. And as you can see, they have posed her really beautifully actually and Again, the presentation's really cool. Okay, guys, here she is. Wonder Woman 2016. Her hair is soft. It's not glued in and glued down, and it actually looks very pretty right out of the box. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy about that because I'm big into the hair looking nice, and I just, I can't stand it when it just is like super boxed looking and then I have to wash it and, Blah, blah, blah. But this is really pretty hair. Wow, gorgeous. She does um, come with the stand. Um, it's a stand that cinches her at the waist. So I am not a huge fan of Barbie um, doll stands. I find them just to be a little cheap looking. So I usually use fashion royalty doll stands. And I think that's what I will use with her. This is, wow, it's a really pretty doll. She is articulated at the wrist, moves up, down, in, out, at the elbows. Um, the really good range of motion. And also at the bicep, it looks like. It turns this way and that way. Yep, so she fluctuates in and out like that and it looks like her outfit is sewn onto her she has her golden lasso which is really cool and it's carried by a little harness that is pretty cool I, I'm loving this the detail is beautiful um, there's the lasso on the side the harness wraps all the way around her back and then goes to the side as well and there's like a little um, her little logo detail on the side and then it comes back to the front 
Her left hand is clenched in a fist. Let me see if I can show you this. There you go. And I believe that's to look like she's holding the, uh, the shield. She has her um, little bicep bracelet cuff thing going on. The sword is like bendable plastic. So if you were thinking of giving this to um, a kid, I don't think you should worry about it hurting them. The boots do look like they come off because they have the standard Model Muse slit in the back that all the Model Muse dolls have. Um, and then there's like a little bit of elastic that keeps the um, top of the boot on her leg. She does have the arched foot. Um, I'm so curious to know if she has painted toenails. Ugh, such a dumb detail, I know, but let me see. No, no painted toenails. It looks like they've like airbrushed the color onto the bodice and it's very beautifully done. She has her headband, which I think is also super cute. It is sewn into her head, so um, not very likely of getting that out, but let me see if I can give you a close up of her face. If it focuses, you can see. But she is a beautiful doll, like truly a very beautiful doll. Her knees move in and out. Uh, her ankles are, are they articulated? I can't tell, let me see. I don't think they're, her ankles are articulated. Um, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna try to see if I can take this boot off just to see her foot. Ooh, here it comes. Oh, her thighs also move in and out. Um, so that's kind of cool. So she can really like have, she has a pretty wide range of motion with her legs, so that's cool. Um, and there is her foot outside of the boot. Looks like it's the standard foot that uh, they used with the interlocking knee. You know, I almost wish that they would do these knees for even the fashion dolls, like the new, new uh, silk stones that they doing that they did with the um, articulated bodies. Like that little kneecap running over the leg, it looks so gross. But this is actually much better, I think. So there's her foot outside of the boot. It's a really cool boot, you guys. Like there's like little perforations on the side. So her foot can be seen through it. Love the little sword detail, by the way. Um, it's a very nice sword. It's very beautifully done. Oh, her little, um, <clears throat> her little arm cuff here also looks like it could be snapped off, but super cute. Well, both her cuffs actually, her magical um, cuffs, I believe. She has the little um, leather straps across her hands as well. They're painted on. Um, I guess it would have been kind of cool if they had used, you know, the same fabric as this to wrap it around her arm or her hand, I mean. But I could imagine that that would get a little tricky in production. This is, by the way, a black label doll. So they're meant for the adult collector and the toy collector and not really to be played with. But I would say that if, you know, you did want to get her for um, a, a little kid to play with, I, I don't think that they would find her difficult to play with. Like she's got a great posable body and um, she could probably do a lot of the things that, you know, most action figures of her caliber would do. I absolutely love her. If you are thinking of picking her up or the Superman doll from the, John, uh, the Dawn of Justice collection, I highly recommend you do it. Love, love, love. If you have her, let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you do, please give me a thumbs up so that I can make more of these videos for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my growing channel and uh, find me on Instagram so that we can selfie swap. Wonder Woman and I are gonna go hang out and um, kick some butt and grab our golden lasso. So until I see you guys again, thanks so much and have a fantastic superhero-y day.